What's up? It's your boy Lanye, 24 years free. Today, I want to talk about what it was like to be in prison, having your loved ones on the streets pass away. So, you know, there is this folklore that is possible to go to a funeral if you're in prison. Maybe that shit is written down somewhere. Maybe that's true somewhere. I have never seen it happen. It probably would cost thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars to pull off because you got to have the guard go with you. And it's a whole security detail. Basically, the prison come with you to the funeral. So I've never saw someone go to a family member's funeral from prison. But I saw thousands of men whose family members died while they was in prison. I want to talk to you about what that experience was like. So for me, I lost my Uncle Charles, I lost my Auntie Bay, I lost my Auntie Ned while I was in prison. You know that your family is going through something and there's nothing you can do about it. You got 15 minutes to console them. Not enough time. The dude who's on after you, he don't care that you just lost a family. He don't give. He don't give a damn about none of that. You, you, you want his time now. So now you 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 trying to grieve. You trying to not cry. You trying to hold it together for those who are on the streets and for those who are in prison because you don't want them thinking you soft. But at the same time, they know you just had a loss. So they trying to, you know comfort you is for whatever that's worth but ultimately you find time in the middle of the night to cry you you ask for a bit obituary to be sent to you you know ask for some pictures and you get that and you you don't get to grieve in prison the way people on the streets get degree, you just don't. For one thing, you've cut off all your emotions for the most part anyway, because you're dealing with cutthroat dudes. You better not be running around this motherfucker crying. But then you have situations where men are going to cry because of the grieving process if it's a person that meant more to them than anything else. So just imagine losing a son in prison. The son get killed. I seen a brother that that happened to. He broke down and cried. There was nobody finna tell him he was weak. Right? Biggest fear. Biggest fear. Is that you lose your moms while you're in prison. That shit about to bring tears to my eyes now. Credit. My mama didn't die while I was in prison. Thank God. By the grace of God, she lived. She saw me home. <clears throat> but the fear of her dying. While I'm in prison, that shit fucks your head up. That's a... It's overwhelming the thought of that compared to any other death. Maybe a child is similar to that. I don't have no children, so I can't really relate to that. But I got a mama. And I know everybody got a mama. And if your mama passed away while you were in prison... That is an overwhelming feeling beyond anybody else dying. So, all those who still in the belly of the beast, man, if I got your mom's information, man, I go check on her. A few of you dudes did leave your mom's information with me, and I will check on her. Because I know what that's like, man. I know what that's like. I'm a mama's boy, so I know what that's like to, to not be there for and to think that Something can happen to her before you get home. Ultimately, my mother will pass away. But at least I'm here to go to the funeral. At least I'll have a certain joy knowing that I was present in that moment. And that shit didn't happen behind them walls. Sorry I'm so emotional on this one. This is serious shit to me. I know what that's like. 
and thank God that my mama saw me home. Listen, I'm going to wrap this up, but if you like what you hear, subscribe, hit me up, ask me any questions you want. I got hundreds of thousands of stories. I did 24 years. I got a lot to tell. I'm just telling my truth. No extras. I'll see y'all next time.